I'm Maggie. And I'm Nick. And um, we're just going to put it out there. We are married. Um, and we're here to talk to you about collaboration. To us, collaboration is a way to access ideas, thoughts, situations, moments that are inaccessible, alone, or in solo form. Our relationship actually started with an artistic collaboration, performing together on stage at the Walker Art Center. <clears throat> and that turned into love, which then turned into marriage, actually right here on this very stage. Yes. And then, <laughs> what would come next? Thank you. And if you can guess it, the adoption of our dog, Sergeant Pepper. <laughs> and then finally, our greatest collaboration to date, our six-month-old son, Gus, who's watching us from back there. And I have to say thanks, Mom and Dad, for watching him. To launch implies releasing something with so much force that it hurtles into another realm. Incredible amounts of energy are consumed in a launch. And the question is, how do we generate enough energy to launch our most precious ideas off into outer space? In 1990, Michael Schrange, an expert on creative collaboration, defined collaboration as the process of two or more individuals interacting to create a shared understanding that none could achieve on their own. To us, collaboration is the spark that can ignite the perfect launch or explosion. Like a marriage, it's tricky, it's messy, it's complicated. Uh, it takes more time, more friction, more energy, more discussion. So, why invest in something that always takes more? More can be accomplished in the space between two people, or more people, than can be accomplished by those people individually. Numerous ventures throughout history have only been possible through true collaboration. I see this, and I think of the Wright brothers. I think of Louis Fitzgerald and Ella Fitzgerald, sorry, Louis Armstrong <laughs> and Ella Fitzgerald. And my most favorite flavor of collaboration, Ben and Jerry's. Mm -hmm. yep. Tasty, yes. <laughs> so the collaborative process is where all the pieces of information, or we can call it data, it's collected and it's shared, it's debated, and then it's reconstructed into the product, much like the creation of this TED Talk and our marriage. Now our history of music and dance collaboration has been one of process, energy, and discovery. And we've enjoyed this process so much that we've co-created and taught classes to aspiring musicians and dancers at the St. Paul Conservatory for Performing Artists about collaboration. And we learned a couple important things. Some student collaborations would thrive and other student collaborations would fail. They could never get off the ground. But all students went through a valuable process. And the most important discovery we made was that you can't teach collaboration. You can teach someone to be a better listener a better communicator. But there isn't a series of prescribed steps to create a successful collaboration. At best, you can create enough space, create enough time, and give a series of carefully placed nudges to get a collaboration up on its feet. But even then, you might be creating space for a disaster because collaboration can't be planned. It's unpredictable. It's actually quite volatile. In 1997, Warren Bennis, a pioneer of contemporary leadership studies, and Patricia Ward-Biederman began studying innovative communities they referred to as great groups. Now, to quote from their findings, great groups became worlds of their own. They create their own culture with distinctive customs, dress, jokes, even private language. Great groups in the past have included the artists of the Harlem Renaissance, Apple Computers, and the Manhattan Project. The notion of great groups fascinates us, and we're interested in creating space for maybe a great group of our own. We're going to create, curate, and launch a live music and movement festival called Hear, Hear. Here, H-E-A-R. <laughs> Here, H-E-R-E, -E, exclamation point. Come hear these collaborations right here at this very moment because they cannot exist anywhere besides here. Here, here pairs artists of different generations and genres and gives them the time, the space, and the finances 
to explore their own unique crossroads of music and dance. Alone, these forms are beautiful, interesting, moving, compelling, but together they can really blaze paths into uncharted territory. And because we're curious, a part of this festival will be for these artists to document their process so that we can take a peek into the intimate act of collaboration. The festival will be free and open to the public. Audience members are encouraged to come and go to the tech rehearsals and the performances, and we hope that conversations will dominate the experience so that we can gain a deeper understanding of the actual collaborative process. So how can music and dance create enough friction which is able to light a spark that can ignite the energy of collaboration and propel a process into outer space. Lighting the way for a bright and blazing launch. <laughs> question for you as we leave you. Is there a place in your life where you can make space for true, authentic, meaningful collaboration? Because as author Kenneth Blanchard once said, none of us is as smart as all of us. Thank you. <laughs>